So hello, my name is uh, Jérôme Monceau and I am the founder of Spoon. So when we are talking about robots and AI, these kids think that he will live in a world where he will be able to interact with this kind of machine very freely. But actually, this is not the case at all. Um, and I want to share something that's happened to me a few years ago. I was working on, on a, a small humanoid robot integrating what we call sound localization. Now, that's pretty easy because if there is a sound around, like this, the robot will turn the head in the direc direction of that sound. And we took, with my colleagues, 11 robots like this, and we put them in a room to test that, uh, that system uh, for a long time. And a few hours after that, we totally forgot about the robot, and I get back to that room, and I open the, the door, and all the 11 robots turn the head into my direction. And that was like, whoa, what's happened today? <laughs> and uh, I was a bit uh, um, fascinated and, and surprised by that. And later on, I, I realized that in my life, that, that was the first time I felt seen by a robot. That was the first time in my life I felt existing in the machine's eyes. And that changed everything. Um, and today, with a team of um, experts in AI, robotics, philosophy, and, and psychology, we want to integrate this animal interaction into a new generation of machine that we call artificial creature. So here you can see uh, the robot, uh, the draw of the robot. Uh, and when you met this robot, he's very uh, curious about you. He wants to interact with you. He wants to play with you. And if you leave, he will be a little bit sad, but he could be also a surprise and he can talk with you. Our, um, what we want to do is to provide services like Google Home or Amazon Alexa into real places, into collective places. But we won't stop here. We, we want to allow anybody to interact with uh, AI and with robots. Think about this worker there. He will be soon surrounded by autonomous machines. Uh, and these men need a way to interact with that. We must provide them a way to talk and to interact with this machine, to, touch, to teach this, this machine. For instance, hey robots, if you see a box there, I want you to put it there. Or the nurse, um, hey robots, every hour I want you to, to uh, take your trial to uh, Germaine. And in a world where there is more and more AI and robots, um, Robots won't be accepted if, if we do not provide a way to interact with them without knowing C++ and stuff like this. And this is more than just solving the accessibility issue. It is redefining the relationship we have with technology. Thank you.